Hi, I'm Sharon Stanley and I'm Chief Nurse for the American Red Cross. We've been getting a lot of questions lately about H1N1 influenza or the swine flu. And I'd like to take this opportunity just to talk about the answers to some of those questions. Dealing with H1N1 is a three-step waltz. And the first and most important step, leading off with that right foot, is your vaccination. And making sure that those around you, in your family, your significant others, get vaccinated as well. The second step is what you can do for yourself and for those around you as well. It involves that hand hygiene, it involves cough covering, and it involves social distancing. The third step, should you become ill, should you think you're coming down with an influenza-like illness, is to stay home, self-isolate, and take care of yourself and your symptoms. If you are in a high-risk group, however, or you think you're getting into some extra symptoms, please call your health care provider and talk that over with them. You may need an antiviral, but that's something you can work out with your health care provider by phone, given that you don't have any pushing symptoms. With H1N1, there are two options available for vaccination. One is the nasal mist, and that is a weakened flu virus. The other is a killed or inactivated virus in the injection. Either way, these are Food and Drug Administration approved in conjunction with the Centers for Disease Control. These are very safe products that are very much matched for the swine flu and this year's H1N1 new virus. You need to get both of those vaccines because you're dealing with two different events. Seasonal influenza is out right now in September and go get it. It is widely available and um, you should be taking that vaccination. H1N1 will be available early October. It is designed to be distributed to and dispensed to those high-risk groups first of all, but it is anticipated that everybody who needs or wants to be vaccinated will be able to do so through December. You know, that question has been going around the seasonal flu halls and the, our communities forever. Um, being in public health for a few years now, every year I have individuals tell me that they got the flu from the flu shot. Not possible. Um, that may be a timing issue that you waited until flu was active in your community, you got the flu shot, and you just happen to get the flu at the same time since there's a waiting period to build up your immunity after you receive that vaccination. You should still get a vaccine regardless of whether you're in contact with somebody with H1N1 or seasonal flu, or if you think that you have already had the flu yourself. Odds are that you have not been tested for to see if you really had that type of flu. Therefore, go ahead, get both vaccinations. It will not uh, affect you in a negative way. Vaccines are used to prevent illness, and antivirals can be used in two ways, either to prevent or to lessen symptoms. In the case of H1N1, Tamiflu and Relenza are being prescribed mainly to individuals who have already become sick in the very early phase of that illness to lessen their symptoms. 
We want to make sure that during this new virus, we don't get a resistant strain of H1N1 going by overuse of the antivirals.